Hey everybody, it's Reb of Reb X Tanya. Welcome back to our channel. I'm here because I want to talk to you about this free software. That is, I think, the coolest software there is. It is called OBS. If you are interested in streaming, I think I might be able to help you. OBS Basics Tutorial, here we go. Alright, so here we are in OBS. First of all, let me start this video by saying that I am running it on a Mac. I have version 26, as you can see up here, that is version 26 of OBS. And if you are running it on a Windows, halos pareho lang, it's almost the same. Uh, actually, there are even way more options on Windows. I am gonna start this by showing you first this thing called Scenes. It's down here. This is our current scene. And inside scenes, there are sources. Now, your sources, yan yung mga nakikita mo at yung naririnig mo. So that's it. I'm gonna break it down to the things that you hear and the things that you see. First, let's start with, since it's already here, the things that you hear. So this is my microphone, the AT2020. And as you can see, this is the audio mixer. It means that my source is currently working right now. How did I do that? All you have to do is press this plus sign to add a source or minus sign to remove a source. For, uh, this is how I did it. So go plus audio input capture, right? And then you just type in anything that you want here. For example, I want again my, let's just say mic. Uh, I'm just gonna click on that and then you are gonna go here. This is the device properties for the mic. Now, for your mic, you can choose what you want. This is my microphone, but I'm not gonna click it because it's going to echo. So, yeah, to avoid the echo, I'm not gonna click on it. But that's how it works. So, right now, we have two audio sources, which is the microphone and the AT2020. I'm gonna remove this because it might cause, it's probably already causing echo. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm just gonna uh, remove that for now, but that's how you do it. Okay, this is the display capture that I have right here. It is my screen mirrored to infinity and beyond. <laughs> Let's add a source using my face. Plus, we're gonna go to video capture device. Yeah, since we don't have an existing yet, we will create a new one, but let's type a new name for it. I'm just gonna go camera. Oh, not C camera. I can type, I swear, I promise. Okay, the hardware that I'm using right now is the Elgato Camlink 4K, so I'm gonna click on that. And voila, you can see my face. Finally! And now you can move this thing around. I can make it smaller. There you go. And put it on the corner of my screen. Hello. 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 There. You can put it anywhere on the screen. It depends on you. Okay. Those are uh, the basics. Now. When you already have your camera and your display capture, you can see that they are in a line. Okay, nakapatong yung camera sa display capture. If you want the camera behind, you just need to drag this thing up here, display capture, and put the camera behind, and now I am behind. That is the camera. So imagine, para siyang sandwich, there are layers to it. Whatever is on top is the one you will see first. So let's just bring our camera back up here. Hi, I'm back. Okay, so audio input capture, we already learned. It's your microphone. Anything that provides sound into your stream, that's what you use. Audio output capture, usually yan yung mga pang monitor. Monitoring devices like headphones or uh, speakers. Browser sources, let's click on it and then just press OK. And then whatever browser source you have, just link it here, copy paste it here and press OK. You can even control the audio here for via OBS and all that. By the way, these eyes are very, very important. If you want to delete them, you can delete them. But if you want to see what's underneath, just press this eye button and it's gone. Yes, but for now, I am just going to remove this. Right, That's a right click and then you just go remove. Voila, voila na. Sorry. Okay, and then we have a uh, color source. This one, I don't really uh, use color source. Yes, yeah, like that. So it's like a background. But usually the screens are full, so you don't really need the color source. But if you want, you know, for it to 
look nicer, you can use that. Okay, so I'm just gonna remove this because I don't need it. We also have image. Now image is photos. For example, you edited a photo, you want it to be the backdrop of your stream, of your, like for example, you're just talking, you want that to be the backdrop of your stream. I'm gonna click on an image. There you go, let's just call it background. Background. For example, we're gonna use this photo, like my logo. As you can see, it's on top. And if you want to bring it all the way to the bottom, you bring it all the way down here. It's already at the back. Of course, you can't see it because of the scaling, but it's already at the back. If you want to bring it up front, uh, you just put it over the camera. There you go. Uh, if you want to put it uh, there, and then again, if you don't want to see it, just click on that. Yeah, that's how it works. Okay, and then up next, we have image slideshow. Uh, this I have never actually used. Jack input client, I also don't use that, but media source, this one I use. Media source is for videos. So for example, the trailer that I have for my gaming, I use that as my intro, and I just input that source, so you just click on it like everything else. Uh, and then you browse and you look for the video file mp4 or something like that a scene I don't really use this. Okay, you can put text like an overlay text over your your stream a window capture If you want a particular window like for example, you are playing a game in your laptop That's your that you're also using to stream puede on you just put window capture and then you click on the particular window That's open if you are doing a reaction video that also works uh, you just click on window capture for example and then if your Google Chrome is on you will find it here put it wherever you want okay so we're gonna remove that because again we don't need it finally this iOS camera okay the reason why I have this is because I can actually use my phone as a webcam and it's an app I downloaded called OBS camera which you can download off the App Store okay so let's dive deeper into OBS by adding our video game source plus a video capture device what i use is the elgato since i don't have it here on the list we're gonna create a new one i'm just gonna put ps4 ps dollar ps4 elgato oh there you go and then here again in the device you just click on game capture game capture game capture hd 60s plus i of course do it in 1080p which is high here but you can just unclick uh uncheck unclick uncheck the box that says use preset and then uh set the resolution to 1080p and then fps is at 60 or 59.94 there you go you can change the size however big you want. If you want to put your camera on top of it, the camera is on top. So even if you extend it, it's not gonna go over your camera. All right, as of the moment, you actually don't hear anything because you need to add another input source, audio input source. So we just go plus audio input capture. And then we are gonna name this PS4 audio and we are gonna make our source, our game capture HD 60S plus and there you go and you can change the volume here now you can see ps4 audio down here along with my microphone now a quick tip to those of you who are using the elgato hd 60s plus when you stream on a mac uh, sometimes you do need to restart your computer when the sources are hanging or something like that all you need to do is restart your computer and it should be okay don't worry it's not broken now i'm going to show you something as well that is very very helpful when you right click on your audio source any audio source down here you just go to advanced audio properties and you will see all your other sources here like for example if you have your ps4 audio you can mix it and all that i highly recommend unchecking all of this because really your computer only uses one track and if you have another source here, like for example, your PS4 audio, you can change that. I make sure that I check uh, this box right here, mono, so that the sound is uh, full when you actually talk on your microphone, as you can hear right now. Okay, now go to settings. Let's go one by one. General, this is your language, your theme. You can change it to uh, any other color that you want. Why did I change it? So yes. And then here, output. Confirmation dialogue when starting streams, which is good so that you don't accidentally press it and be like, oh no, oh no, why am I streaming somewhere? So that's always good to have it checked. I'm gonna have it checked right now. Show confirmation dialogue when stopping streams. It's also good so that you don't accidentally stop your stream. Bam, show confirmation dialogue when stopping recording. 
also good uh, automatically record automatically record when streaming i don't use this because all of a sudden there's a big file that you didn't mean to start okay snap sensitivity it's when you are lining up things on your screen para magnet so it just stops at a particular point if it's a corner it just snaps onto that that's how it works that's really all i use for general so we're gonna go to stream right now i'm streaming on twitch uh well not right now but when i stream on twitch i just click on this thing and i go twitch or you can also go facebook live i also stream on facebook live you can go youtube gaming or youtube for live so you can do that or custom. For example, there is a way to actually stream, use OBS while you're streaming on Instagram. I think it's called Yellow Duck. So right now, let's just go Twitch. And then, of course, the very important thing, which is your stream key. You can find this on Facebook Live, on your live producer, and on Twitch, on your channel uh, settings. So that's how you do it. Now, output. Make sure that uh, since I'm recording, I can't change anything here. Uh, when I stream, as a Mac user, I have I have tried X264 for the encoder. That is the default. X264, ang ibig lang sabihin niyan, you are using your CPU to encode the video. It can make your CPU run very, very hot. But if you have a dedicated graphics processor, like for example, this MacBook Pro that I'm using, I actually use the Apple VTH264 hardware encoder for my games and it can run Call of Duty Warzone smoothly, which is great. Because before, when I would stream X264 and it's Call of Duty, it was very laggy. So the laptop can't uh, handle the amount of processing because it's also streaming, it's also encoding at the same time. So I use my GPU. You can try it your own way. Bitrate, usually here in the Philippines, since we don't really have that, <laughs> we don't have the best internet in the world. I just set it to 5,000, sometimes 4,500 if, if the network traffic is too much so that uh, the streams don't drop frames or it's not a laggy stream. I only learned this recently. When you stream, the rule of thumb is you set your keyframe interval to two. You can rescale your output to 720 or any other resolution that you might want. Okay, so recording. Make sure that when you open OBS, this container format is set to MP4 because I think it starts off as FLV or MKV, I'm not sure. But the video file that you want would be MP4 so that you can edit your videos if you want to put highlights of your gameplay or any of that. Make sure you click on advanced because up here, output mode, it says simple in the beginning. So just click on advanced uh, so that you have all these options. On streaming, just make sure you also click on advanced because this is usually on simple first. Okay, this is for recording. I put it on 5,500. Why is it? There you go because I accidentally pressed it. And then here on keyframe intervals for video recording, I set it to five because that is a good rule of thumb. It works for me. Audio settings, I don't, I don't touch it. Uh, for the replay buffer, I also don't touch it. For the audio tab, it's very, very important to disable everything because if you turn on the desktop audio and it's gonna go, for example, if you go default, you are gonna be recording on two devices, your MacBook's microphone and your particular external microphone, and you don't want that. One thing I forgot about the audio mixer that I'm gonna teach you now before I forget, you just press advanced audio properties. There is a thing here that says, monitor off there are three options monitor only which means you can hear it but there is no output and then monitor and output your speakers on your laptop or your computer will also provide that sound i do monitor and output for my alerts or my browser sources okay so we're back in settings let's go to video and your base canvas resolution and your output scaled resolution make sure it's always the same to avoid confusion pareho na lang always make it the same and i make this 60 fps because i'm able to with the elgato hd 60s plus hotkeys are very important as well although i don't use them because I don't need to be that fast anyway. Show or hide uh, source toolbar, stop, start recording. You can set this to anything you want. When you go to advanced, uh, really I don't have anything here. There you go. Those are the settings, at least my settings for OBS when I stream games. Right click on my face and then we're gonna go transform and then we're gonna go fit the screen so all you see is my face. Oh! <laughs> We don't claim to know everything, of course. We are also learning uh, along the way. The overlays and all the other effects that you can put on your stream, your transitions and all that. If you liked uh, this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as usual, we do stream on Twitch and Facebook Gaming. You can see them right here. Look at you. 
And we also stream on this platform called Kumu. So please do check us out. Same name as our YouTube channel, Reb X Tanya. I hope you enjoyed and I wish you nothing but the best on your streaming journey. My name is Reb. Thank you very much for watching this video and we will see you next time.